Oscar Wilde was an Anglo-Irish playwright, novelist, poet, and critic. He is regarded as one of the greatest playwrights of the Victorian era. In his lifetime, he wrote nine plays, one novel, and numerous poems, short stories, and essays. Wilde was a proponent of the aesthetic movement, which emphasized aesthetic values more than moral or social themes. This doctrine is most clearly summarized in the phrase art for art's sake. Oscar Wilde was born in Dublin on the 16th of October in 1854 to Sir William Wilde and his wife Jane. Oscar's mother, Lady Jane Francesca Wilde, was a successful poet and journalist. She wrote patriotic Irish verse under the pseudonym Speranza. Oscar's father, Sir William Wilde, was a leading ear and eye surgeon, a renowned philanthropist and gifted writer who wrote books on archaeology and folklore. Oscar had an elder brother, Willie, and a younger sister, Isola Francesca, who died at the early age of 10. He was educated at Bertora Royal School, Trinity College, Dublin, and Magdalen College, Oxford. While at Oxford, he became involved in the aesthetic movement and became an advocate for art for art's sake. Whilst at Magdalen, he won the 1878 Newdigate Prize for his poem Ravenna. After he graduated, he moved to Chelsea in London to establish a literary career. In 1881, he published his first collection of poetry, poems that received mixed reviews by critics. He worked as an art reviewer, lectured in the United States and Canada, and lived in Paris. He also lectured in Britain and Ireland. On May 29, in 1884, Oscar married Constance Lloyd, daughter of wealthy Queen's consul Horace Lloyd. They had two sons, Cyril and Vivian. To support his family, Oscar accepted a job as the editor of Women's World magazine, where he worked from 1887 to 1889. In 1888, he published The Happy Prince and Other Tales, fairy stories written for his two sons. His first and only novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, was published in 1891 and received quite a negative response. This had much to do with the novel's homoerotic overtones, which caused something of a sensation amongst Victorian critics. In 1891, Wilde began an affair with Lord Alfred Douglas, nicknamed Bosey, who became both the love of his life and his downfall. Wilde's marriage ended in 1893. Wilde's greatest talent was for writing plays. His first successful play, Lady Windermere's Fan, opened in February 1892. He produced a string of extremely popular comedies including A Woman of No Importance, An Ideal Husband, and The Importance of Being Earnest. These plays were all highly acclaimed and firmly established Oscar as a playwright. In April 1895, Oscar sued Bozzi's father for libel as the Marquis of Queensbury had accused him of homosexuality, 
Oscar's case was unsuccessful and he was himself arrested and tried for gross indecency. He was sentenced to two years of hard labor for the crime of sodomy. During his time in prison, he wrote De Profundis, a dramatic monologue and autobiography, which was addressed to Bosey. Upon his release in 1897, he wrote the ballad of Reading Jail, revealing his concern for inhuman prison conditions. He spent the rest of his life wandering Europe, staying with friends and living in cheap hotels. He died of cerebral meningitis on November 30 in 1900, penniless in a cheap Paris Hotel.